number 273 is in a bit medium sized dog. He's got an elegant head, high withers, straight from back, good front angulations where the upper arm could be longer and better angulated, very good hind angulations, good layer to prove the two could have been a shade longer. In movement, the dog uh, falls in the forehand. In the front street of the dog should be more free. So uh, today he gets very promising one. Congratulations. So this is the junior male class, four dogs in the ring and all of them will get excellent today. Uh, the winner of the class is show number 203, is a strong, absolutely correct size male with a beautiful head and expression, dark mask, dark eyes, high withers, straight from back, he's got a very good front and hind angulations, good top end on the line, the group is short and low set and the dog moves. Uh, in both phases of the movement, gating and trotting, maintaining the correct posture and sufficient lines, crossing, covering a lot of ground. Congratulations. Excellent one today. In second place, show number 275 is a large dog with a beautiful head and expressions. He's got high withers, uh, straight from back, very good front and very good hind angulations. Good top and underline. The croup is short and low set. But this dog also moves very nicely, maintaining the correct posture in both greeting and trotting, covering a lot of ground and with sufficient hind thrust. Congratulations, excellent dog. Catalog number 226 is a very typeful male with very good pigmentation. He's got a normal head, high withers, straight firm back, good front and very good hind angulations. The problem with this dog is in both phases of the movement, the dog was pacing constantly. This is not a problem of the dog, but how he has been trained. The dog could easily make places and be standing in the top, but I gave him chance in the gating, I, in the even in the fast trot movement. I even asked the handler to you know lift the dog and let it go so it can correct its you know uh, gating style. But it was constantly pacing. Unfortunately, with the gating dog, I cannot do anything. So hence today it is at third place. Otherwise. If shown properly and trained properly, this dog can compete with the above two dogs. Today he gets very good three. In the fourth place is show number 274. He's a stretch dog with good head, high withers and uh, straight from back. Initially at stand he was showing 
a better posture, but as the gating progressed, he started falling on the forehand, and then the middle of the back became the highest point in the movement, which should be the wither. In movement, the wither should be the highest point in a trotting or gating dot. After a few rounds, the dog started falling on the forehand, and the back became the highest point. So today, he gets very good. Male dogs. Uh, we had seven dogs initially in the ring. One dog had a problem. We had the vet check it, and unfortunately, he was pulled out of the ring by the owner. So the six dogs remaining in the ring, five of them get the grading very good, and the dog two five seven gets the grading satisfactory. The winner for me today is show number two six four. Is absolute medium sized dog with a expressive head, good ex very good expressions, high withers, straight firm back, good front angulations, with upper arm could be a bit longer, very good hind angulations, good top and underline, and the croup is low set and a bit short. This dog moves beautifully in both the gait and trot, maintaining the correct posture and fluid dynamic movement and a lot of personality and his attachment outside the ring. He presented himself beautifully. Clear winner today, 264, very good one. Catalog number 260, uh, he's a very good type full dog with good, very good pigmentation. He's got a strong impressive head with uh, dark eyes. He's got very good top and underline. 
the croup with this dog is again short and steep he has got very good front and very good hind angulations and he moves beautifully in both phases what you need to do with this dog is build connection outside the ring this if this dog has connection outside with the collar this dog can easily switch places with that dog if he moves like that dog. very good dog where uh, he gets very good two today congratulations show number 202 is a very good three today he's medium sized dog with a good head normal withers straight from back good front angulation with the upper arm could be better angulated and longer good top and underline very good hind angulations good lay of the group which could have been a little longer but very good dog and moves well in both trot and walk very worthy third position today show number 299 he's a medium sized dog with an elegant neck head i would like to have a more black mask on a male of a head of a male so for females it's okay but males should have a more pronounced mask on their face he's got normal withers good top and underline very good front and hind angulation he lacks dynamism in the movement he should in movement he should be more dynamic and energetic his anatomy allows him to move but he's not moving correctly today like he should he gets fourth position and very good today show number 276 is a large dog young dog with a beautiful strong head and expressions he's got high withers straight from back he's got good at front angulation with upper arm could be longer very good hind angulations low set and short croup the problem with this dog today was he was having a strain on the left rear hock where he could not you know give uh, enough hind thrust a german shepherd is like a rear wheel drive car it has all the thrust from his hind legs so if have probably he has a kennel injury or some sprain in his leg that is why he could not give sufficient head, uh, hind thrust and that's why he could not show himself properly he's a good dog work on him he can easily make places in the next shows congratulations very person promising for this dog unfortunately is not at the last because of his anatomy or structure this dog has a missing p2 so the maximum grading this dog can get is satisfactory this dog can still succeed and pass in a breed survey but in a competitive showing good is uh, satisfactory is the maximum grading that he can get so that is why he is here otherwise he is a good dog he has very good pigmentation he has got very dark black mask with a matching black eyes he has got elegant head he has got normal withers good front angulations very good hind angulations and he moves well in all phases today he gets satisfactory